Claire, you disgust me. I'm gonna have to cut you out of my group of moms. That's all. L Lucy, you called me out of the blue, and what are you talking about? Huh. I just told you. You disgust me. So don't you ever come to the group or the trips again. I don't get it at all. Did I do something to you? You're asking me what you did? What the heck are you talking about? Every time you come to mom friend's group, other moms gather around you. I want to brag about my new high brand bag and luxury restaurants that I've been to. Isn't it because you brag all the time that they're avoiding you? People don't like to hear others brag. Why? After all those high brand bags restaurants? When I buy them and go there, it's because I want to show off. Well, I'm not saying that I don't get it, but I don't think people like that. I don't think you should do that kind of thing anymore. See? That's what I'm talking about. You get all the attentions, Claire. That's why you can say that. But I don't have people around me. Why don't you try to understand how I feel? But I'm not doing anything special. No. I'm sure you're giving money to your mom friends. Huh? Of course not. Otherwise, there is no way you get all the attentions. The way you think that you get attention by giving money is the reason why people don't like you. Before you say things about other people, why don't you reflect on your own actions and behavior? Then, maybe they get along with you. Why do I have to change? I want to brag to everyone. If I hold back from that, what's the point? Like I said, normal people don't like to hear someone brag that much. When someone tries to show off, it doesn't make you feel good, right, Lizzie? Of course. Listening to other people brag doesn't get me anything. Then you understand how others feel about you, right? I understand. But that does not give me the reason to stop my bragging. Bragging enriches my heart. Showing off to you guys how much I'm rich gives me a peace of mind. That's too... I can call it a disease. What? You've been saying disgusting things to me without any thought of changing yourself. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm just saying what I think. I don't give a damn about what you think about me. You should get a cold or something. And I hope you wouldn't be able to come to the group's gathering. What are you saying all of a sudden? First of all, I'm so busy that I haven't been able to go to the gatherings. So you work. Huh. Well, I guess you work at some convenience store. Or put out stuff at a supermarket. I'm sure your work is something simple that anyone can do. I'm not gonna tell you what I do. But just stop saying stupid things and trouble me, okay? I can't believe you actually caught a cold. Is it what they call the power of words? I'm so surprised. Phew. Anyway, what have you done to me? Huh. Are you talking about the icy water? You got splashed with icy water, so your fever went down, right? You should thank me. If you want another splash, feel free to ask me. I'm a lawyer. I'll put you to hell when I get better. What? How dare you? I'll never forgive you for this. Hey, hold on a minute. I can't believe what you just said. I had no idea you were a lawyer. Do you really think you can convince me by saying that you didn't know? All the other moms know that I'm a lawyer. But you? You assume that I work at a convenience store or supermarket. I'm sure that you look down on these jobs. But too bad, I don't have a job like that. Wait a second. It's true that I didn't know that you were a lawyer. I'm surprised. But you don't have to be that mad, you know. 
I'm wondering if you're gonna tell me that he'll sue me. Yes, I'm gonna tell you that. I think what he did could be considered assault. Also, I didn't give you permission to come in here, so I'd add breaking and entering to that list too. Hey, hey, you're making it sound like I'm a criminal, but you're actually committing a crime. What are you talking about? You came into someone's house without a permission. I'm just saying it's... it's a visit. I didn't just come in here to visit you. We're mom friends, so... It's natural for me to come see you when you're sick. So, it's okay to come see a sick friend and splash ice water on her. I have a fever higher than 102 and I'm in terrible pain. Do you want to make me get worse by splashing me with icy water? No, I was just trying to make your fever go down by pouring icy water, you know? What? Don't be kidding. Anyway, you've done so much to me, so you should be prepared to pay for it. Be prepared? Am I getting arrested? And do I have to go on a trial? And am I going to end up in jail? No way. I'm not going to jail. No way. Just calm down. I didn't say such a thing. What? Then are you telling me that you're not going to sue me? Well, I'm busy, so I don't have much time to sue you. Phew. I'm glad to hear that. Jeez, don't scare me like that. Was it fun scaring me? You're so mean. Oh, what are you talking about? I said that I won't sue you. But I didn't say that I'll forgive you. Huh. I think we'll be having a negotiation for settlement. N negotiation? Does that mean that I have to pay you? Oh, so you know. Is this the first time for you to have a settlement negotiation? Of course it is. There aren't much opportunities to have such a thing in one's life. I guess you're right. Good for you. This is going to be a valuable first experience for you. It's not good at all. I have to pay you, right? No way. Oh, really? Well, then I guess I have no choice. It's gonna be a little tough, but we need to go on a trial. Hey, hey, hey. I thought you said we weren't going on a trial. I just said that I don't have much time for a trial, but I can manage while working. I mean, if the settlement negotiation's not gonna work, we have no choice but to do that. B but If you have a way to prove that you're innocent, you might have a chance. Unfortunately... We have surveillance cameras in our house. What he did is all recorded. A surveillance camera? What kind of family would have that installed in our house? I'm sorry, my husband is a police officer. Husband a police officer, wife a lawyer. Inevitably, we have a high awareness of crime prevention and evidence preservation. In case a crime is committed in the house, we agreed to make sure we have all the evidence. Oh no. You mean the video of me pouring ice water on you? Are you telling me that you have it recorded? I just took care of the wet food on the floor, so I haven't checked it yet. But your face is probably recorded clearly. No. Delete that footage. I don't need it. You don't need it, but we do, so don't worry. Of course I'm worried. That's enough. I'm the boss mom. You can't do this to me. The boss mom. Oh. I've never heard that you were the boss. Are you the boss mom? Yes, I am. Everyone likes me. I've never heard of you being adored. Are you sure? I thought everyone hated you. No. I'm the boss mom. There is no way they hate me. But you've been bragging so much that people don't like you. Bella and Everly have told me that you always interrupt people so that you can talk about yourself. You're not good at communicating, are you? 
you should try to have a little more conversation. What are you talking about? I've never done that before. No, I didn't. You don't listen to others at all. You only talk about what you want to. You don't seem to realize that there is something wrong with you. How dare you call yourself a boss mom? You don't sound like a boss mom, but just a self-satisfied weirdo. What do you mean weird? You've been rude to me all day. Have a little respect for me. I'm sorry. I'm the one who got doused with ice water. It's getting a little hard to keep my cool. What? You should keep your cool when you talk to people. You're an adult. No. I think it's you who's losing her cool more than I am. I'm a little mad at you too, but you've been mad at me for a while now. You've been mad at me the whole time. Of course I'm angry, because you're being unreasonable. Unreasonable? What the heck are you talking about? Because you're being unreasonable. You suddenly tell me that you're a lawyer, and now you're pressuring me to negotiate a settlement. If this isn't unreasonable, what is? Well, I'm the one who got ice water dumped on me by you. Isn't that unreasonable? No, it's not. I threw ice water on you because you're more admired than I am. I was just trying to make you see who you really are. I had no choice. You had no choice, huh? But as a result of that, I'm pissed off and considering settlement negotiations and lawsuits. That's understandable, right? Not at all. I was trying to make you understand who you really are. So it's not a crime or anything. I don't understand your logic. You're a little dim-witted. Hey, I think that would be called slander now. I'll sue you for insult. Go ahead. If that's going to be enough to get charged with contempt, then I'm sure there will be a lot more people who would be guilty of contempt. What the... Don't get carried away just because you're a lawyer. You're a lawyer. You must earn a lot, right? Then, there's no need for you to negotiate settlements. You know, I'm not here to negotiate or sue for money. I'm not talking about negotiating a settlement or a lawsuit because I want you to be sorry. I'm just trying to make you sorry for what you did. I don't want you to do the same thing again. Do you understand what I'm saying? I... I don't understand. Well, then... I'm not going to expect anything from you. Anyway, since you're not going to negotiate a settlement, I'll have to consider a lawsuit. There will probably be fines, and in the worst case scenario, jail time. So, be prepared. Well, wait. Imprisonment? Does that mean I'm going to be put in jail? Of course, he did something wrong. I think the only thing worse than jail time? I think the only thing worse than jail is that you'll get a criminal record. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you being so mean to me? You should be nicer to me. I don't know what to say. You put yourself in this situation. It can't be helped. Or, you still want to negotiate a settlement? I'll do it. I don't want to go to jail and I don't want a criminal record. Okay, okay. What do you think then? How much do you think is fair? I mean, for now? Will you let me off with 500 yen? You... Do you really think that just 500 yen will wipe out the crime? What? Just 500 yen? 500 yen is a lot. The morning meal I was going to order at the next mom friend's get-together costs 500 yen. Oh. Okay. I guess 500 yen to order a morning meal can be important. But to hurt people and then ask for forgiveness with that little money? I don't think it's fair to ask for forgiveness with that kind of money. Why? How much does it generally cost? Well, at least 100,000 yen is required. More than 100,000 yen. 
There's no way I can afford that much money. You're trying to scare me knowing that. Unbelievable. Who would do that kind of thing? Well, if you can't pay me, then I'll have to sue you. Okay, okay. I get it. But I don't have that kind of money and I don't know what to do. Then why don't you ask your husband about it? I'm sure he has some money. Talking to my husband? How can I do that? If I tell my husband about this incident, I'm sure he'd be furious. Well, I'm sure that he would, but you don't have a choice. Since you can't afford it, there's no other way but to ask your husband to help you. Is there? No, I'll never tell my husband about it. No way. Okay, but you can't solve it by yourself, can you? Do you have a better plan? Yes, I have. I'm gonna go to your house right now. I'm going to get down on my knees. Huh? And then you'll forgive me. Is that okay? If you see my sincerity, I'm sure you'll want to forgive me too. You... you really are an idiot. Do you really think I would forgive you just by doing such a thing? I don't even know what to say. Why are you saying such horrible things? I want to do something about the situation. Don't laugh at my desperation. You seem to have completely lost your cool. You've lost your cool and you're not in your right mind. It's just annoying when you try to get involved with me like that. So we'll continue to negotiate a settlement, but... I'll be in contact with your husband. What? Why am I husband? Because even if I talk to you now, you've lost your mind. I honestly don't see a way out of this. It would be so much better to talk to your husband and make sure that it progresses, right? No, no. Not my husband. I don't know what he's going to say when he hears about this. I'm on my way to your house right now. Do not contact my husband. Oh. I'm sorry, I already did. He's already read my message. I think he's going to be pretty mad. How could you do such a terrible thing to me? You're disgusting. What do you want with my life? It's not that I want to do something to you. You've caused me so much pain. I don't see any reason to do you any favors. Oh no. Why would you say such a horrible thing? It's absolutely ridiculous that you would do this to me. I just wanted everyone to admire me. Why should I have to go through this? Lucy kept on contacting me to ask why this is happening to her. Then, at some point, she stopped contacting me. Perhaps her husband got angry with her. After that, Lucy ended up negotiating a settlement. She paid me 300,000 yen, and I decided to withdraw the damage report. After that, her husband told her never to get involved with her mom friends again. We never saw her again. I guess she is now just staying at home doing housework all the time. Ever since Lucy stopped showing up, we have been able to have a very peaceful time at the group. We are now able to go on trips without Lucy, and it's very comfortable.